high voltage shocks aren't always fun and games. He's cooking that! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 serious movie electrocution scenes. For this list, we're looking at films that remind us that electricity is not something to be trifled with. These scenes show us the devastating effects that an electric shock can have not only on the body, but also on the mind. It may all seem like fun and games at first. That is, until you're hooked up to a car battery in a leaking basement somewhere. If you didn't see an electrocution scene you thought should be on the list, be sure to check out our video of the top 10 funny movie electrocution scenes too. Also, spoiler alert. You get a move on, I haven't got all night. Number 10, electrically shocking interrogation, Three Kings. What is your rank, bro? This war comedy starring George Clooney, Ice Cube, and Mark Wahlberg follows a group of American soldiers as they search for gold in the Iraqi desert. We three kings be stealing the gold. Bye, damn. My friends all drive Porsches, I must make a man. Hey, just shut up, okay? The troops have been dispatched to the location at the tail end of the Gulf War and are tying up loose ends when they happen upon a map to some hidden gold bullion. They decide to forego their formal mission and track down the gold. No, we look for the gold. No gold, my friend, no gold here. Get higher, let's go. However, hostile Iraqi forces put a kink in their plans and kidnap Mark Wahlberg's character, Troy Barlow. Do you army come back to help the people? During this time, he's subjected to a number of abuses, including torture by electric shock. And it's an interrogation scene that's very hard to forget. <laughs> Number nine, Soviet torture in the Vietnamese jungles, Rambo First Blood Part Two. Rambo! Sylvester Stallone reprises his role as John Rambo in this sequel to the first Rambo feature. I've seen worse. The action flick follows Rambo as he's commissioned from prison on a high stakes mission yet again. He's ordered by the US government to travel to Vietnam to determine if there are any POW camps. Sir, do we get the win this time? This time it's up to you. He discovers the Soviets have been training and aiding the Viet Cong, but is then captured by them. He's subjected to some creative torture techniques. I see you are no stranger to pain including being descended into a pit of leeches. But the worst is being strapped to electrified bed coils that pack a really gruesome punch. <laughs> Number eight, the thing becomes the ash, the thing from another world. This 50s classic sci-fi horror follows a group of researchers trapped in the Arctic with an extraterrestrial being that needs blood to survive. After the creature crash lands on Earth, scientists recover its frozen body and inadvertently release it onto their research center. It won't be necessary to melt the ice, we can probably chip it away. I'm sorry, Professor, we're not going to melt it or chip it. The titular thing goes on to kill a number of the crew before the humans decide to put up a last stand for survival. Wait till it gets right in the middle, sir. This includes corralling it into a makeshift fly trap and electrifying a section of floor in their generator room. When they finally force the creature into the trap, it's lights out. <laughs> Seven, buzzed to death, Batman. So gentlemen, that's how it is. When you're trying to establish yourself as a criminal mastermind, sometimes it's necessary to make a name for yourself. And what's with that stupid grin? This Tim Burton classic has Jack Nicholson as the Joker, a violent thug with aspirations for greatness. He decides to hold a meeting of Gotham's grimiest to let them know there's a new criminal element in town but not everyone's on board. Nobody wants a war. <laughs> if we can't do business, why, we'll just shake hands and that'll be it. When a dissenter steps up to let the Joker know he'll pass on the whole deal, 
The Joker shakes his hand and ends his life with an electrified hand buzzer. <laughs> oh, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Marco in the electric chair, Taken. Wake up! I need you to be focused. In this smash bang action thriller, Liam Neeson plays a dad with a particular set of skills who discovers that his daughter has been kidnapped while she's on a trip to Europe. Where is this girl? Where is she? He packs up his penchant for skillful violence and heads out in search of his child. His journey takes him to the kidnapper's lair where he comes face to face with one of the goons who challenged him on an earlier phone call. <laughs> so, what does he do? He takes this as an opportunity to extract information regarding his daughter's whereabouts in as painful and shocking a way as possible. Marco from Tropoya. You either give me what I need or this switch will stay on until they turn the power off for lack of payment on the bill. Number five, shocking sponge Lethal Weapon. Why don't you save your strength? You're gonna need it. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover star as a couple of detectives who are reluctantly paired up to solve a case. Guess what? What? I don't want to work with you. Hey, you don't. Ain't got no choice. During their investigation into the death of a friend's daughter, they uncover evidence leading to the existence of a larger criminal organization. <laughs> the trail of breadcrumbs leads them to Mr. Joshua, played to maniacal glory by Gary Busey. That would be too bad. Yes, it would be. In one scene, Joshua's captured Martin Riggs and has him strung up underneath a steady shower of water. As he inefficiently interrogates Riggs for info, he also has his henchman strike Riggs with an electrified sponge. Hit him again! <laughs> it looks like a loofah, but with a thousand percent more pain. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Number four, Max Electroshock Therapy. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Mr. McMurphy? Hmm? Please follow me. Jack Nicholson's turn as an unstable patient at a mental institution may have garnered him critical acclaim, but it also gave audiences some insight into some questionable clinical practices of the past. All right, out with your gum. Hmm? Out with your gum. Uh -huh. As Mac, a new patient having trouble adjusting to his surroundings, he finds himself butting heads with the overbearing Nurse Ratchet. After he and another patient get into a scuffle with a couple of orderlies, they are sent for electroconvulsive therapy, or shock treatment. This will keep you from biting your tongue. Now just bite down on it. As a result, he's strapped down to a gurney and electricity is administered to correct his behavior. Here we go. <laughs> Number three, Force Lightning, Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. You will be destroyed. This finale in the epic battle between the Galactic Empire and the Rebel Alliance finds Luke Skywalker face to face with the evil Emperor Palpatine. Only now, at the end, do you understand? Luke allows himself to be captured so that he can try to convince his dad, Darth Vader, to become a Jedi again. Your thoughts betray you, Father. I feel the good in you. Darth declines, and instead brings him before Palpatine so that Luke can be converted to the dark side. Fulfill your destiny, and take your father's place at my side. That doesn't work out either, and Luke ends up being tortured by Palpatine with a series of lightning strikes before his old man intervenes. <laughs> Number two, Timmy and the Electric Fence, Jurassic Park. What should have been the most amazing summer vacation with Grandpa quickly turned into a case study on child endangerment. Timmy! Get down now! Timmy, gonna have to jump. You crazy? 
I'm not gonna try. In this 90s blockbuster, a wealthy CEO has cloned a new wave of dinosaurs to populate his island amusement park, and he invites his grandchildren for a tour before the opening. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Unfortunately, almost anything that can go wrong does, and the dinosaurs end up free to roam and, worst of all, hunt. The kids and paleontologist Dr. Alan Grant are attempting to scale a downed electrical fence, but the fence is reactivated just as Timmy reaches the other side, which gives him quite the shock. One, two, three. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, John Coffey, The Green Mile. You won't kill a raping baby killer twice. In one of Michael Clark Duncan's most notable roles, he plays John Coffey, a man facing execution for a crime he did not commit. Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. In actuality, Coffey possesses otherworldly powers, powers that allow him to see the good and evil in people, as well as heal the sick. In spite of his immeasurable gifts and obvious innocence, he is still sentenced to death. It's a gut-wrenching moment as the guards at the jail know he's not guilty, but concede to Coffey's wishes to be put to death anyway. As he's strapped to the electric chair and the order is given, electricity surges through his body in a dramatic and depressing death scene. Well, on to. Though Dell's electrocution earlier in the film was grotesque, Coffee's execution is demoralizing in its sadness and completely unforgettable in its tragedy. Agree with our list? That the best you can do, you pansies. What do you think is the most notable serious electrocution scene in film? For more shocking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, that's enough. Turn it off. Let it go.